Shit, 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 Hello everyone! My name is Mathis and welcome to an update vlog. Oh, things are getting busy, man. It is the end of May, we're heading into the beginning of June, and because of all of that, we're heading into the full swing of convention season. I have another trip coming up, and I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing me talking about my traveling, and trust me, I'm sick of talking about it, but if you're gonna be at the conventions I'm gonna be at, I like to keep you informed and let you know what's going on. So before we get on to what's happening with the channel, let's let you know where I'm gonna be. May 25th to the 29th, I believe, I'm gonna be at MomoCon in Atlanta, Georgia. It'll be my second time in Atlanta, but my first time really being able to experience a convention there, and uh, it should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna be on a panel on Saturday morning at 10 a.m. in Main Hall B, room 404 to 405. I'm not sure if it's like two rooms combined, um, but that's where they're putting us. Uh, I got invited to be on a panel about being a YouTuber and going from like a hobby to a profession. I'm gonna be on there with two other people. One is my friend Total Biscuit, uh, and another is another friend of mine, Adam. He is Mr. Dude Puppet on YouTube. Uh, basically, we kind of have like a wide range of experience going into this. Uh, Adam is a small time hobby sized YouTuber, uh, while I'm like smallish to approaching mid range, while TB is obviously in the upper echelon of where you want to be when you're doing YouTube. So we're going to be talking there. I believe it's going to be mostly Q&A focused. So if you're interested in what happened or how we got to where we are, uh, we all have very different stories. And it should be fun to kind of contrast and compare what it's like now getting into it, where I think Adam would be talking most about what it's like now kind of being a Let's Player and getting into the ind industry, I guess, around this time, what it was like when I got into it, and what it was like when TB got into it, which was well before me. Should be a lot of fun. Um, and if you're there and you want to do a fan meetup thing, I'm actually going to be doing a fan meetup at 11 o'clock a.m., maybe 11.30, depending on how long the panel goes, probably do 11.30, outside the convention center. Should be a small get-together, I'm not even sure how many people are going to be there that want to get to know me or anything, or say hi. Uh, but around 11.30, outside the convention center, I will be doing a small gathering and saying hello to as many of you as you can. Um, I know that every time I go to a convention, people ask, are you doing a meetup? And I always say no. So I'm going to do one this time and uh, see how it goes. So if you guys are going to be at MomoCon in Atlanta, Georgia, I will see you there. Convention uh, 10 a.m. on Saturday for the panel, 11.30 for the meetup outside the convention center. With me going to a convention, that does mean I am going to be away from the channel. And this is going to be a longer one. It's going to be, uh, I'm leaving on Wednesday, coming back on Sunday. So it's about five days of content. And that means I'm working on five days worth of backlog. Uh, I will have Dark Souls is going to be done on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'm going to have a series running through. I wanted it to be Dark Souls, but I actually ended up beating it and not having enough content to fill out throughout the convention. Um, so there will be some Salt and Sanctuary going up. There was going to be a culling tournament, but the day we all scheduled to come together and do the tournament, the servers were down for four hours, and none of us had four hours to just sit around and wait. Uh, we had things to do and places to go that day, so there won't be a culling tournament. I'm going to do everything in my power to get at least two episodes a day every day going up during that five-day gap, preferably more. Obviously, I would prefer to do more stuff. Uh, so bear with me as I kind of scramble and trying to get things done. Uh, and then when I come back that Monday, things should be going back to normal as they typically do when we do these types of things. After that, I'll be back for a couple more weeks before I fly out again for E3. We'll have more info on that when it happens. I'll be rooming with Ryan and Kate during that time. We'll be out there for another five days and then I'll be done traveling for a month, a month and a half until August rolls around. I might be doing Gen Con in the beginning of August and then at the end of August, beginning of September, we have PAX Prime. But we'll, we'll get to that as it goes. Uh, so that's kind of the series schedule as things have been going. Um, the other thing I'm going to be talking about a little bit is Judge Mathis. I am well at work on the next Judge Mathis. I've been having a really good time. I expect that to be done right before I go to E3. I would like to get it up before E3, but I don't know if I'll have the time to do that. So I'm going to try and get it done right about E3. If it doesn't get finished, then shortly after E3, I should have it all finished up and we'll get it up. It's a game I love. It's a really underrated game, one that a lot of people either kind of bypassed or didn't look at when it came out or just thought it was silly. It is silly, but it's silly in the best ways. And I really can't wait to show it off to you guys. It's a game I've played through twice now and playing through it a third time for this video has been a treat. It's still really, really fun. Uh, if a little bit <clears throat> mechanically showing its age, but we'll talk about that when it happens. 
The last thing I want to talk about uh, that I, I doesn't really have anything to do with the traveling that I'm going to be doing um, is a board game. So recently, I've been really, really into the board game scene. I've been picking up all the complicated board games that I want to play. Uh, Star Wars Rebellion is the most recent one. I'm pointing at it. You can't see it. Star Wars Rebellion is the most recent kind of big board game I picked up by Fantasy Flight. It's huge. 150 plus like miniatures, very heavily strategically oriented. One of the games that I really want to play a few more times to get the, the hang of it and understand it. I uh, picked up, um, what do you call it? The Game of Thrones board game, second edition by Fantasy Flight. Another really, really good game. Recently when I was at PAX East, uh, I saw a board game that I was interested in because I played the video game and that was This War of Mine. And This War of Mine is one of those games that uh, I played two series on and I fucking loved it. When I saw the board game, I was really in interested and intrigued. And I got emailed after Paxis because they saw me tweet about it and asked if they would like, if I would like the prototype of the board game to check out. Now, unfortunately, I have not been able to play it because it requires at least one other player and I just haven't had the time to get it together. Um, but it looks like it plays like an Arkham Horror uh, type style where every time you play it, it's different scenarios, different things can play out. It's co-op, so it's you and whoever you're playing with versus the board. Um, and from the looks of it, the idea that they want to get through, I have the uh, prototype right here, actually. It says prototype right on it. Um, there's all basically all paper pieces with a couple of figures. But they're gonna have like 12 characters. They're gonna have over a thousand different fur, cat fur. <laughs> they are gonna have like 12 characters, over a thousand different situations that can happen when you're playing. Uh, decisions that you're gonna have to make, whether you help strangers, whether you don't help strangers uh, that come to your doorstep. And, and like ask for food or medicine and what you end up doing, uh, sneaking out, trying to rob people at night. All the things that made this war of mine emotional and engaging as a video game actually translate pretty well to the board game. Uh, from what I've read anyway, I've read the rules. It's something that I'd like to get in depth into. However, I need to play with somebody else to do that. But the Kickstarter is, starter is running. They've already well passed their goal. I think it's gonna be an awesome board game from what I've seen so far. So if you wanna check it out, I'll put the Kickstarter link in the video description below. Um, but once I get my hands on an actual like session of this game, I wanna give you guys my more complete thoughts. The, the hard thing or the difficult thing about board games is that it requires getting together socially with people. And I live far away from my friends for the most part and getting together for a board game night is a little bit more difficult than you one, one might expect. I might try and get a game in with TB uh, while I'm at Momocon if he's down to play. I know he said he wanted to play some board games while I was there. Uh, I'm gonna try and bring it and pack it if I have space and maybe we'll get a board game night in with him while I'm there. And that'll be fun. And maybe I can give you my, my thoughts on it when I return. However, the Kickstarter ends on the 30th and I want to at least talk about it. If you enjoy that style of game, the Arkham Horror game, players versus the board, co-op style with different outcomes and different things happening every single time you play, honestly, this War of Mine looks like it's gonna freaking hit all of those plus some. It looks really cool and looks like it's gonna play really well. Either way, I'm gonna be gone in a couple of days starting four days from now at the time of this video going up. So thank you guys for being patient. Thank you guys for, you know, bearing with me as probably this is the most traveling I've ever done ever so far while I've done this job, which is really awesome. Um, but I'm also looking forward to getting back to normal and getting to a normal schedule and the next Judge Mathis. So if you guys are looking forward to the next Judge Mathis, make sure you stick right here. If you're on the Mathis Games channel, head over to the Judge Mathis channel, uh, youtube.com slash Judge Mathis Games and sub there. That channel is going to be an archive for just the Judge Mathis stuff while uh, over time the Judge Mathis will slowly disappear and migrate over there. If you're on the Judge Mathis channel, I don't know how you're watching this because this isn't on the Judge Mathis channel. 